What is going on everybody? Welcome to the most expensive sprinkler controller that there is in the market. And MRC D2. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't that a refrigeration controller? Who in their right mind would put that in their home for a sprinkler? Well... That's just the type of guy I am, I guess. So, but the purpose of this video actually is to show you guys how to connect wirelessly to an E2 controller. So I'll be doing it from my home today. But the same concept can go for a supermarket where you can remotely or wirelessly connect to it from the store anywhere in the sales floor. First, you guys will need to buy a wireless modem to have in your bag with your laptop. So you can connect to a controller. You have the old sprinkler right there. I had to cut it over tied it into the board right there and behind it. Works great and you'll see in a little bit. Now the modem that you guys purchase, just make sure it has a good range because this most likely will be in the machine rooms and you'll be out there in the cell. And what you're going to be doing is connecting one of them to the E2. You see it right there is connected. And I got the one of them going to the laptop because I need to change the IP address for the actual modem itself. Go to Internet Explorer. You put the IP address of the modem itself to get into it. Sometimes you have to log in. It's usually admin admin. You'll have a notepad with the modem to tell you the passwords for now. But when you enter the IP address, the IP should be the same as E2 controller except for the last number. It should be one number up or down, but not the same. So in this case, the last number is one. And in the controller, you'll see, let me go into it right now. Menu 743. And there you have it. So the last numbers, all the numbers are the same except for the last one. It can't conflict with the controller itself. So once you guys go into the actual modem and change the IP address to one below the E2 controller, just save it and get out of it. And then hit ultrasound. You're not going to need to connect it anymore just because we're going wirelessly. It would actually work if I connected to the wireless first, so which I already did. So you pick the name of the modem, you connect to it. It says no internet, but you connect to the modem. That bad boy right there. And then hit ultrasound again. Ultrasight is the program that we use to connect to CPC, IE2 controllers. So once you get in, it's a typical user pass to get in. And then your store. So right here, I have my actual home programmed. Right there. Right click on it. Edit communication. Go at the actual IP address. Get a little bit closer. So that one, you actually want the same address that's set up in the controller itself. So the exact same number. So I got 192.168.0.2. And on the modem, the IP address on the modem, the last number should be one higher or one lower. I usually try both, whichever one works. And once I do that, make sure the IP right there set up for connection. So my controller at the my home is SCX400. Right click, connect. And there we go. We'll connect to the controller. Wirelessly, no wires. Check it out. So now we're connected. Get into the controller. So the only thing I have couldn't program right now are the sprinklers. That's the only thing I cut over. I programmed as a lighting control just because I put them in a schedule. And I have an outside temp sensor to the programmed in. So you can see right now the temp outside is a lovely 70 degrees. Look at that. The plan is to eventually cut over the AC to the controller too, but I'll get to that. On the modem, you don't want to connect to the internet port. 
You want to connect the E2 to the other ones, not the other one. So right now it's too soon. Something I have connected. So not the other. So now we're outside. So let's just pretend you're in a store. The modem's in the machine room, and you're out here in the sales floor. You're working on the system. So let's get into it. I was already in. Disconnect. Reconnect. Get into the controller from the garage or the machine room. So you work on a system, you want to turn it off, check it out. So right now we're going to run a test. So on the sprinkler, you're going to bypass it on. So this could be a refrigeration in the case you're going to be on the sales floor. I usually do this in startup because I don't want to be taking my laptop out there in the sales floor with all the customers. So bypassing it on. And there you go, it's on. Refrigeration RO on, or whatever you guys can be working on. No wires, as you can see. Makes life a lot more easier than running back and forth to the machine room to check out stuff. Now I'm going to turn it back off. Don't want my water bill to go high. So, boom, turn off water slash imaginary refrigeration in the sales floor case. There you go, all off. E2 Home Edition. I actually already have the transducers to cut over the AC and the temp sensors for a return and supply for the AC to cut it over from the T-stand and put it into the spare points right here in the controller. But that'll be another day. Right now, I'm just the point of this video is to kind of show you guys to how to connect wirelessly from the sales floor to an E2. But today, I'm just doing it from home. So to review, connect the wireless modem to the E2, change the modem IP to the E2 controller, last one up or down, number three, laptop connect to the modem, wirelessly, you know, it's to the actual modem wireless, and then number four, open ultra slide, connect to the E2, make sure on the E2 that the site is the same IP as a E2 controller itself, and number five, hit connect, and no more running back and forth on the sales floor with the trying to figure out if it's correct or bypassing something on you could use a handheld but you know have fun with this and once again thanks for watching i hope this helped out uh, subscribe leave a like and uh thank you so much